If your desktop is messy, your workflow is unproductive, or you just got the new MacBook, here are a few important settings to change, free must have apps and widgets to help keep your MacBook clean and organized, just like it was on day one. Okay, so after getting rid of the extra widgets, this calendar widget is one of my favorite. It gives me a morning heads up on what's coming my way. Another daily must have for me is the interactive reminder widget. I usually create my to-do list in the reminder app, adjust the widget to sync with my to-do list folder, and there you have it, a daily roadmap of what needs to get done today. Then I usually add the interactive music widget and choose something from the music app and play it on my MacBook. Now check this out. When you're actively using some other windows, the widget colors turn monochrome to not distract you. But if you prefer to always have that monochrome white, you can change widget style in desktop and dock settings here to monochrome. And there you have it. A fantastic feature in the new macOS is turning any website into web app right in the dock. I converted YouTube, Apple's website, and ChatGPT into web apps for a clean setup. In Safari, I visit my most used websites, hit the share button, select add to dock, and there they are, right in front of me. The next thing on my list is decluttering the dock. I keep only the apps I use daily and simply drag and drop the ones I don't need. And of course, don't forget to enable use stacks on your desktop so all files of the same format stay organized and together. In settings, under desktop and dock, I usually turn on automatically hide and show the dock for a cleaner desktop. I also toggle off show suggested and recent apps in dock to keep things tidy. Quick cool tip guys, we can keep a super clean desktop by unchecking show items on desktop and stage manager. So you have a tidy desktop without any extra folders and whenever you need your important folders back, just tap on the desktop and they appear. Tap again and they're gone. It's awesome that we don't need any extra apps. Well, let's continue the cleanup journey in Finder for some smooth file management. So in Finder settings, I usually clean up the sidebar by unchecking items I don't often use and dragging and dropping my frequently used folders there. Also, I would uncheck hard disks and external disks to get rid of those extra icons cluttering up the desktop. So for having a clean and clutter-free toolbar here, I just right-click here and hit Customize Toolbar and then remove any items I don't use here and only add my favorite items I use most of the time here to the toolbar. Speaking of keeping things organized, let's talk about four amazing free apps I love. The first free built-in app is Stickies. It's my go-to for maintaining a more productive workflow. You can find it in Finder under Applications. I have added to the dock for quick access. So I usually make it float on top of all my apps by pressing Command Option F or selecting float on top and sometimes translucent from the menu. This way, it's available all the time in my workflow and I can quickly write down notes, keeping everything super organized. Another must-have free app in my toolkit is Rectangle. It's amazing for moving and resizing windows in macOS. Just use some keyboard shortcuts or snap areas from here and there you go. It's like a quick and easy way to organize your windows, left half, center, right half, or anywhere you want. Dropover is my next go-to utility for easier drag and drop. Just shake the cursor and you can gather files from different folders onto the shelf. And when ready, 
move everything to your destination at once. It saves time and hassle. You can even save the content to the cloud and share the link. Or even you can access recent shelves from the menu bar here. Nice! Hidden Bar is another free app that gives me extra menu bar space. I can drag and drop icons I don't use daily to this area by holding the command key and click to rebuild them when needed. Everything to the right of the line is shown and the left side is hidden. It keeps my menu bar so clean and organized. After our desktop and file cleanup, let me share how I keep my MacBook fresh with CleanMyMacX. I use it to remove malware, boost my desktop's performance and free up space by getting rid of unnecessary files. And my favorite feature is the Smart Scan. One click and it clears out caches and junk files. If you guys want your MacBook to feel like new all the time, I've got a special deal for you. Check out the link in the description below for a 30% discount on CleanMyMacX. Let's talk about browsers. Chrome has been my go-to, but I've been exploring Safari more. So first I get rid of these extra icons on the first page. Plus, I've been using Safari's profiles. Then I would create profiles from work, study, and personal use from here, manage profiles, and tap this plus button. This gives me organized and separate history, cookies, extensions, and tab groups for each part of my life. Super neat, right? So these are the important things to do for a clutter-free workflow. Drop a comment below if you guys are using any other apps or widgets that help keep your MacBook even cleaner. And stay tuned for more tech tips. See you soon! Have you guys checked out my previous video? Well, the new macOS Sonoma has lots of new features that you, as a MacBook Pro user, need to know and start using immediately. I covered top 12 new features including dynamic wallpapers, professional meetings with presenter overlay, message app tricks, importing stuff directly from your iPhone, PDF tips, and more. The video is right here, make sure to watch it. See you guys with more tech tips.